If you have used the internet, you've probably encountered a chatbot, and may not have known. So what are chatbots? Why are they used? And how do they fit in with libraries? Let's explore that. Let's define some terms first. A bot is a piece of programming that automates certain tasks, such as chatting, posting to social media, or monitoring keywords. They can use rules-based commands or artificial intelligence to interact with people. The term artificial intelligence has actually been around since the 1950s and is the type of intelligence that machines have. It doesn't come from natural processes like what humans have. A chatbot is a computer program that facilitates communication between human and machine. They have also been around for a long time. One of the first chatbots was Eliza, a program that simulated a psychotherapist by using pattern matching and substitution methodology. Here's a sample of what Eliza can do. As you can see, Eliza doesn't really hold a conversation. Chatbots have increased in sophistication since then, and libraries have been implementing them to increase productivity and give the user a better experience. This chatbot from the University of Oklahoma runs 24-7 and has answers to many frequently asked questions. Academic libraries are recognizing a trend of students preferring to communicate through mobile devices and expecting immediate access to information. Other benefits of using chatbots for reference include addressing the problem of the user not understanding library jargon, better customer service, since the chatbot is not bothered by rudeness or repetitiveness, anonymity for the user, instantaneous responses, and the opportunity to introduce the user to library resources. They can be incorporated throughout the library in virtual and physical spaces, such as reference desks, information kiosks, websites, desktop icons, apps, and more. Chatbots are an emerging technology that are accessible to libraries even without dedicated developer staff or large budgets. There are various methods to make chatbots, such as ChatFuel, as seen here, writing AIML code, ChatScript, and more. A good chatbot includes several features. They let the user know their limitations, they have a specific purpose, they are honest and friendly, and they are endearing in failure. There are several issues that need to be studied further. Chatbots may eliminate the need for staff answering common questions at the reference desk. This will free up librarians to do other work, but may take away some jobs completely. It may also add new jobs, as staff would need to develop and maintain the bots. This can be done by vendors, but the library staff should watch out that inherent biases aren't passed on to the bot. Vendors can also cause issues with privacy. The chatbot would need to learn from its interactions. Who will have access to that information? Where will it be stored? Also, the knowledge base that the chatbot will get its information from will need to be machine readable. What are the implications for publishing and licensing? How will it affect users who are affected by the digital divide? More studies are needed to determine the answers to these questions. <laughs>